Hola amigos, welcome to my channel, The Romantic Language of Cooking. Thank you for watching. We're going to make very delicious Mexican tacos. Yes, you see a lot of ingredients here, but really it's only a few. Um, the onion, the cilantro, the salsa are just uh, for topping with the tortilla. And all we need really is the pork meat. Here I have pork shoulder. I know that the pork shoulder has fat, but don't worry because we're going to boil it and then the, the fat is going to be in the water, so we're not going to eat that, but it makes it nice and stringy, perfect for these tacos. And also I'm going to mix it with some um, pork stew. It's going to cook very, very soft. You'll see how we're going to shred it and put it in the tacos, very delicious. So we have the lime, we put lime on everything in Mexico. We put lime in the chicken soup, in our tacos, in so many dishes, just, you need to try it, trust me. So just salt, the tortillas like I mentioned, a chopped white onion, garlic, the cilantro like I mentioned, salsa, tomato, uh, onion and, uh, and jalapeno pepper. We're going to make a nice, very easy cooked salsa that's going to go on top of the tacos. And we're going to boil the pork with some bay leaves. And that, that's all you need. And I'm going to, I think, save my tequila for the end when I'm eating my taco. Okay, I'm ready to cook my pork. There's many ways. You can use a slow cook, um, a, you know, a crock pot. It takes about 10 hours to make it nice and tender. Or you can use a pressure cooker, or you can use just a regular pot. So I'm going to show you just on a regular pot. Put your meat. Salt, bay leaves. Um, pork is a strong flavor meat, so bay leaves contrast helps the, the strong flavor. And a clove of garlic, half an onion, cover it with water, and voila. Just like this. Don't worry about the fat, like I said, it's just going to melt away and it's going to stay in the broth, and we're not going to eat that. It's going to make the meat nice and tender. So I'm going to put this to cook. And I'm also going to show you. This is a very, very easy salsa that you can use for other things. This particular salsa, I'm going to put on top of the meat to make it more moist and to give it more flavor. So we're going to just boil tomato, onion, and garlic. When you boil um, these ingredients, especially the garlic and the onion, you bring the flavor down, so it's going to be um, more mild. It's not the sharp, sharp onion flavor because you're boiling it. But I like the sharp flavor of the, he the heat of the pepper. So when I put it in the blender already cooked, I'm going to add the raw pepper to blend it with it. Okay, so just these ingredients with water. And I'm going to put it in the blender with this water to make it nice and saucy and salt. for it to cook. Okay, my meat is already cooked. It's uh, very, very soft. As you see, the water is uh, very reduced. So I'm just going to scoop it out. And see the onion is melted. It's okay, we'll just put it back. My mouth is watering. <laughs> we shred the meat. Use your fingers. My tomato is already cooked as well with the onion and the garlic. So I'm just going to put it in the blender. Jalapeno pepper, I'm just going to put a few pieces with no seeds. Blend it for just a little bit. So even though this is pretty moist, my salsa is going to give it more flavor. Just like that. I'm going to make the tacos and taste it now. I have my tequila, yay! This smells like Mexico. My mouth is watering. Oh, so good. So this is how you make a taco with the corn tortilla. Nice and warm. Cilantro. Onion, 
make sure everybody around around you eat the raw onion because it's strong. <laughs> Salsa. And lime. <laughs> this with tequila, mm -mm, yummy. Okay, this with my little tequila is going to be fantastic. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> mm. Cheers. Mm. Very, very good. Guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Give me likes if you like it. I hope so. And see you next time. Ciao.